today's first impressions video is on a game called Signal, which is the best way I could describe it would be to say that it is an RPG with puzzle elements and very light combat as well. It takes place in space or in future. You play a half android replica, I think they're called, and you have to figure out the mystery of what's going on. You discover the story as you go through. So you're pretty much in the dark as a player. As always, we'll look through the options first and then we'll jump straight into the game and I will show you what it's all about and how it plays and how it really works. So let's not waste any time. Let's just get straight into those settings. All right, I'm going to start off with a moan and it's about aesthetics. I don't like this gl glitchy screen style that they've got going on. It's horrible. Um, I get why they've done it. It goes with the sort of aesthetic of the entire game, but they could have not done it on the options um have it in the game sure fine whatevs but when you're trying to sort out a game and, and sort out the sense to make sure that it's right for you this is really off-putting from the get-go and i'm really not a fan let me know in those comments down below if you agree or disagree whether you like this sort of style or not Outside of that, um, I'm happy to report that keyboard and mouse in the menus works really well and it does switch between uh, controller and keyboard and mouse very, very seamlessly. The actual options you get, you've got sprint style, you've got uh, aim style, you've got swap aim controls, mouse sensitivity, um, quick radio on or off, uh, controller controls you can see here of what they are, and then your keyboard controls you can see what they are as well. Um, you can change them between types, but it doesn't look like each sort of button is rebindable in of itself your gameplay options you have your language it is us english only i don't know why they've gone with us english over all the others but there you go uh mouse aim cursor control style automatic reloading uh quick eig and it, it takes speed and combat accessibility now what is nice is it comes up with a little tool tip down here um, that tells you what each thing that you're about to change does. I like that a lot. Um, you're going to want automatic reloading on by default, ideally. Display options. Now, this is a pixel art style game, so there's not really a huge amount here. Um, you've got your resolution. Interestingly enough, it started mine on 50 hertz. I don't quite know why. Uh, full screen on or off. You've got VSync on or off, and then you've got brightness and screen shake if you so desire. And then you can go into more details here with your graphics. You've got pixel scale, um, also is three times. It's got one, one and a half, and three. Fitting, you've got pixel perfect, um, volumetric effects, reflections, enemy effects, film grain on or off. You're going to want to turn that off. It's horrible. CRT mode, I don't know anybody that want, would want to play it on there. It's nice that it's there as an option, but if we switch it on right now, you will see it's awful it's it, it no <laughs> what would be nice is if they had a sharpen mode um so instead of having like the film grain on or off or this glitch is again just having it as an option your audio settings you've got quite a few audio here um i don't know why they've put vibration in with audio it would be better in the control section but by the by at least it's here so you can change how much vibration you get you've got your radio sound effects music and master there is no voice acting in the game which is a little bit of a shame i feel that a good voice actor here could really sell the game since all the other music and, and ambience is really really good it is also worth noting that there were some slight grammatical errors with the translation um but i don't think the developers are actually english um like native speaking English or first language in first language English. So that possibly may be why. Um, but in one of the, the cutscenes earlier, it was uh, holes are digged. It doesn't make sense. But outside of that, really, really happy. Um, it's a very full options menu for the type of game it is. You don't normally get something this detailed with a pixel art style game. So yeah, really, really happy. First thing I feel needs mentioning about the game is that there is no autosave. It is manual save only, and the game doesn't tell you this. It's only because I was kind of clicking on everything and, and wandering around and having a look that I realized that these red screens here are how you save the game. The way that the game works is you are 
a android being thing you wake up in a spaceship and that's how the game starts then things happen and you end up in this building here it's a very slow paced game but it sets the mood really well so if you're looking for high paced high octane action you're not going to find it here with this and basically the idea is that you have to figure out where you need to go next and how you're going to get there there are secrets and there are options for you to find there are going to be doors that you can't go in it is very linear in that sense where it will guide you to where you need to go for the main sort of story but that being said there is plenty of choice for you to sort of roll around and and kind of figure stuff out and find things that you can then use on or in other areas to get some extra goodies to really help you out the game isn't terrible it's it's not bad it's not something that i would normally go with but that doesn't make it a bad game either you know the graphic style is not one that i'm keen on either i, I don't like pixel art style games i've covered that many of them now that i'm, I'm kind of over them um i just tend to get a headache after a while of playing them but what i will say is that for a pixel art style game this one's actually pretty good it it looks passable the cutscenes themselves especially are really good they're very clear they're very stylized as well which is nice but yeah so you you go down you will hunt around there are animal enemies there is combat although the combat is very it's very slow style there's there's not a huge amount going on um they're very slow walking enemies and you you aim and shoot at them accordingly there are lots of rpg elements as well in that you will um find characters as you go down that you have to talk to um and you will like i say discover things you will learn about the world there is a full inventory system as well if we press the x button on the controller you will see all the items that you have sort of gained throughout the um throughout the experience if you want to take a closer look at them you can select the item and then you can inspect it and that will allow you to really look at them and, and spin everything around and again spoilers but you will need to do that for certain things to find access to items like safes and and you know chambers and things that you will need certain things for you are going to need to be able to inspect them there are other sort of options that you can go in so you can go here and you can look at them the map you're in um you have to select it once you're in this screen though you do have to uh, press your accept or your enter button or your action button so you can actually look around the map that you're in and you will get this sort of idea about where it is that you are and what you've been doing you can change floors so you can look around the floors that you've already been in you can see different sort of activities and actions that you've taken so it's pretty in-depth there as well and that's the game it is like i say it's a very slow burner it's a very slow paced game where you you do a lot of exploring around these sort of dark and dingy areas and you've you've got to try and find the keys that you need to get the extra bonuses that you can then use to further your discovery and find out really what's going on the story itself is i'm not sure whether to say it's well written or not it it does a very good job of setting the mood but as for it whether it's a well-written story it's a bit sparse there's there's not a huge amount going on and it doesn't really tell you anything which is an interesting contradiction because on top of not telling you anything it also holds your hand the entire the like way through in that the the map is very linear there's only certain places you can explore and if you can explore there you know that there's something there to find so yeah it's not a bad game it's just not a game that's for me particularly and that's a completely subjective thing you might play a game like this and, and really enjoy it and you might love the exploration you might love the color tones you might love the 
very limited in spaced combat. As I said, it's it's not a bad game. It's just not a game that's probably for me. I don't think it would be able to keep my attention as much as it would somebody else, maybe. There you are then. This is Signal. It was provided to me by Disopay and Play Humble Games. Let me know in those comments down below what you think, and I will see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.